Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to study how to draw temperature entropy and pressure enthalpy diagram for the vapor compression cycle with dry saturated vapor after compression. So we will move for the one by one processes that are taking place in the vapor compression cycle. So what is the first process? So first process is isentropic compression. So for that first process that is from point 1 to 2 we will consider the point 1 at temperature T1, entropy S1 and pressure P1. So what is the condition? So if we observe the condition is that dry saturated vapor after compression. So we have to draw first temperature entropy and pressure enthalpy with this saturated lines. So if we observe this is the saturated liquid line and this is the saturated vapor line. In the same way for this pressure enthalpy this is the saturated liquid line and this is the saturated vapor line. Now isentropic compression means what? Here the compression process is taking place with constant entropy. So if we observe here is the entropy. So entropy remains constant. That's why we have to draw here a straight vertical line. Now we will observe this or we will study this process with the help of this diagram. So here the compression process is taking place in this compressor and before compressor there is the evaporator and from the evaporator low pressure vapor refrigerant is entering into the compressor and the compression process is taking place. So what is happening to this low pressure vapor refrigerant after compression? It's a pressure is getting increased and at the pressure is getting increased the temperature will also getting increased. So we can say that we have to show here increase in temperature as well as increase in pressure. So as the temperature of this refrigerant is getting increased it's a enthalpy that is the heat content in that refrigerant is also getting increased. So what are the conditions that we have to follow while drawing these diagrams? We have to show increase in temperature, increase in pressure as well as increase in enthalpy. We have to show entropy remains constant because our condition is that isentropic compression. And at the same time our condition is that we have to draw a cycle with dry saturated vapor after compression. That means at the end of compression that is at point 2 we have to show the point 2 on this saturated vapor line. So this is the saturated vapor line. So now we will start to draw. So we will consider the point 1 here and we will draw here the straight vertical line. So here is the point of intersection. So we will say this is the point 2 and we have to show the arrow also. Then in the same way we have to show here the pressure enthalpy. So we have to show increase in pressure and increase in enthalpy and point 2 should be at this saturated vapor line. So I will show that. So this is the process 1 to 2. Now if we observe what is the work done that is taking place in this compression process. So we have to show that work done which is equal to change in enthalpy that is H2 minus H1. Now we will move for the next process. So after compression there is the condensation process. So condensation is taking place at constant temperature and pressure. Now we will move for this diagram. So what is happening? So high pressure and high temperature vapor refrigerant is getting here from this compressor getting out from this compressor and entering to this condenser. So in condenser cooling process is taking place. So what is happening? To the condenser so while it is entering into the condenser the refrigerant is is at high pressure high temperature and in the vapor form 
and what happens when cooling process is taking place it is converted into high pressure high temperature liquid vapor refrigerant that means the condensation process is taking place and there is a phase change because here there is only vapor and after that here is the liquid vapor mixture that means phase change process is taking place so we can say that here is the heat rejection process to the surrounding medium so surrounding medium may be air or water so we can say that the latent heat is there so latent heat is gives up by the refrigerant to the surrounding medium so how to show this process on this diagrams so if we observe here the condensation process is taking place at constant temperature and constant pressure that means this temperature and pressure we have to show the constant and we have to show this saturated vapor is getting converted into the saturated liquid so we have to end up this process at this saturated liquid line this is our second condition now what is happening when the cooling process is taking place to entropy and enthalpy so we know that when the heat rejection process is taking place entropy is getting decreased so we have to show here the decrease in entropy and what is happening to the enthalpy so here because of heat is getting rejected that means enthalpy is also getting decreased so we have to show this on the graph so now i we have to draw here straight horizontal line and this saturated vapor is getting converted into the saturated liquid line so our point 3 will be here now in the same way we have to draw here the straight horizontal line because there is the constant pressure pressure remains constant throughout this process and because of heat rejection enthalpy is getting decreased so this is the process now we will move to the next process that is the expansion so this expansion process is taking place at constant enthalpy so how to show that so we will understand this process with the help of the diagram so from the condenser high pressure high temperature liquid refrigerant is entering into this expansion valve and here the expansion process is taking place so when the expansion process is taking place there is the partial reduction in pressure of the refrigerant so there is the decrease in pressure so as the there is decrease in pressure there is the decrease in temperature also and this process is taking place at constant enthalpy that means we have to show here the straight vertical line for this enthalpy so as the pressure and temperature getting decrease we have to show slight increase in the entropy so we will draw this diagram so from this point 3 here after the expansion here liquid vapor mixture is getting formed so we have to show here the point 4 in between this saturated liquid line and saturated vapor line so this is the process 3 to 4 and here for this we have to draw for the constant enthalpy that is the vertical line so here is the point 4 and we have to show this by arrow now we will move for the next process so next is the evaporation at constant pressure and temperature so if we observe after the expansion valve there is the low pressure liquid vapor mixture is entered into this evaporator so what is happening to the evaporator there is the evaporation at constant pressure and temperature that means pressure and this temperature remains constant and what is happening here here is the phase change process is taking place that means low pressure liquid vapor mixture is getting converted into the low pressure vapor so latent heat is getting absorbed for this phase change process from the surrounding medium and this effect is known as the refrigerating effect that is re so how to draw here 
so we have to show here the temperature is constant that is horizontal line and pressure is also remains constant and the latent heat is getting absorbed so here the as heat is getting absorbed so we know that there is the increase in entropy because the heat is getting absorbed and because of heat getting absorbed we have to show increase in enthalpy also so we will draw here the line from 4 to 1 for the constant temperature and increase in entropy and here also we have to draw line that is the constant pressure and increase in enthalpy so this is the process that is 4 to 1 is getting completed now we have to write this refrigerating effect so this refrigerating effect is taking place in the evaporator so latent heat is getting absorbed so how to show this refrigerating effect re so we have to show for this process 4 to 1 that is the change in enthalpy that is equal to refrigerating effect so what is the enthalpy at point 1 that is h1 and enthalpy at point 4 that is h4 so refrigerating effect is equal to h1 minus h4 and if we observe this process is taking place at constant enthalpy so h4 is equal to this enthalpy at point 3 and where is the point 3 so the point 3 is at saturated liquid line so we can say that it is equal to hf3 so here h4 is equal to hf3 so we will shift this or we will replace this h4 that is h1 minus hf3 so we can either use h1 minus h4 or h1 minus hf3 for the refrigerating effect now we will write the formula for the coefficient of performance so what is the coefficient of performance that is refrigerating effect by work done so where the refrigerating effect is taking place so this refrigerating effect is taking place in the evaporator that is in the process 4 to 1 and where we have to write the work done so work done is taking place at the time of compression that is in the compressor so here the process 1 to 2 is the compression process so how to write this so refrigerating effect means what that is the change in enthalpy that is h1 minus h4 or h1 minus hf3 and what is the work done that is the process 1 to 2 so here is also the change in enthalpy that is h2 minus h1 so what is the formula for the coefficient of performance h1 minus h4 divided by h2 minus h1 which is equal to h1 minus hf3 divided by h2 minus h1 so this is the formula for the coefficient of performance which we can use for the solution of the problems.